How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some real Twitter horror stories that are sure to give you the chills. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button for more creepy content just like this. In this first story, a Twitter user named Ty decided to enter the arena of terrifying Twitter horror stories when he received a mysterious voicemail. Ty was behind the wheel of his car when the phone rang, and when he checked the message later, he was perplexed. The entire message left on his voicemail was made up of code words from the NATO phonetic alphabet. Sierra, Delta, India, Romeo, Echo, Foxtrot, Oscar, Romeo. When decoded, they spell out, Danger, SOS, it's dire for you to evacuate, be cautious, they're not human, SOS, danger, SOS. The message also contained a series of coordinates. Ty didn't know what to make of the message, so he asked his Twitter followers for their thoughts. The following day, he received a second voicemail. This time, the voice spoke in a language he didn't understand. He again asked Twitter for help. His followers determined that the message was in Indonesian, and that the voice was instructing him to take down his tweet about the previous message. Another Twitter user pointed out that Ty had previously tweeted about seeing someone taking photos of his house. Other users did some research into the coordinates from the first message and quickly realised that they pointed to the location where Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 disappeared into the ocean. Some users began to theorise that the original message was actually the missing black box recording from the famous doomed flight. After this theory came out, Ty largely abandoned the story, and followers were never able to find out how the mystery ended. Was Ty the victim of some fast cover-up? Probably not. Some of the Twitter users who followed Ty's story did a closer investigation of the voicemails, and determined that they were most likely fakes. However, a lot of people who watched the tweets unfold in real time believed that the events were genuine. When screenwriter and cartoonist Manuel Barchel decided to take a holiday, he never thought he'd end up hosting one of the most popular Twitter horror stories in history. Two days into his trip, Barchel was relaxing in his hotel room when he thought he heard the door to the room open. He knew this was unlikely as the door locked automatically when it closed. However, much to his surprise, a strange man had walked right into his hotel room. Barchel attempted to talk to the man, asking him how he gained access to the room. However, the man seemed to only speak in garbled sentences that were completely incoherent. It's as if the man came up with a sentence then said all of the words in the wrong order. The man eventually left and Barchel decided to ask the front desk to reprogram the lock on his door and provide a new key card just in case his visitor returned. However, the terror didn't end there. He began to notice a man in the area around the hotel who he claims looked exactly like him. Everywhere he went, he had the sense that he was being followed, perhaps by this mysterious doppelganger. He was understandably shaken by the events and decided to cut his vacation short. However, when he arrived at the airport, he discovered that his seat on the plane had already been taken by someone claiming to be him. Then, a porter handed him a package left by Manuel Barchel, containing a note that read, Do not write anymore. Everything is fine. This ends tonight. Sadly, this fascinating Twitter thread came to an anticlimactic conclusion, when another Twitter user joined in and exposed the story as a hoax stating that he was staying in the room next to Barchel's and none of the events actually happened. Still, the users who followed the tale over the course of several days had quite a wild ride. A Twitter user named Ryan began one of the most mysterious Twitter horror stories in 2017 that left his followers in perpetual suspense. The tale began when Ryan agreed to dog sit for one of his neighbours. He went to the man's house ahead of time to get instructions for caring for the dog. According to Ryan, the dog owner gave off a lot of creepy vibes during the meeting, including a lot of inappropriate and unwanted physical contact. Despite the red flags, Ryan showed up on the appointed day to spend a few nights in the house while caring for the dog. 
Immediately upon entering the house, Ryan was definitely uncomfortable. He saw that the house was in a state of disrepair and questioned if it was even safe for him to stay there. He was even more disturbed when he located the dog that he was responsible for over the next few days. The dog was locked up in a small crate. By the looks of things, this is where the poor pooch spent most of its time. Ryan decided to do the best he could and give the dog proper care while he was there. On his first night in the house, Ryan did some exploring. He was confused to discover that many of the lights in the house didn't work, and several doors were locked up tight. However, the creepiest thing was waiting behind one of the few doors that he was able to open. In one darkened room, Ryan found an incredibly lifelike doll, perched on a tiny doll-sized chair. Dolls can be generally creepy, but what really made the hairs on Ryan's neck stand up is that save for the doll in the chair, the room was completely empty. Clearly, dolls were a weakness for Ryan, as the sight was enough to send him packing. He left the house and vowed never to go back. At this point, the story ended. Not long after, the Twitter account got mysteriously suspended, and no one ever knew the fate of Ryan or the poor mistreated dog that lived inside the house. The Red Monkey Twitter horror stories begin when a young woman named Neela was walking through the streets of Madrid and came upon an abandoned cell phone. Surprisingly, the phone was unlocked, and she was able to scroll through the social media apps on the phone. She looked through the information, hoping to find the identity of the owner. After a little sleuthing, she discovered that the name and the photos on the phone did not match. The photos actually depicted a woman who went by a completely different name. Even more shocking, they discovered that the person had actually died several years prior. Neela then decided to take a look at the messages in the phone. Instead of the typical messages you would expect to see on a cell phone, she found bizarre strings of numbers. At first, she had no idea what they meant. With the help of her Twitter followers, she discovered that they were coordinates. A few days later, Neela was extremely disturbed when she was sent a video. The video showed her and her mother sleeping inside their house. At this point, Neela was desperate to crack the code. Before she could, her mother went mysteriously missing. After getting frustrated with the authorities doing little to investigate, she decided that the only way to get her mother back was to go to the coordinates in the most recent message. There, she found a large telecommunications complex surrounded by a high wall. Looking around, she discovered various transmitters and somehow attempted to manipulate the signals. Soon, a group of strange individuals appeared. They apparently told her that this was all a test to determine if she was able to use the signals and thus become a member of a mysterious group called Red Monkey, a group that plans to use technology and personal data on social media to carry out various attacks on both government and private targets. The story ended with Neela issuing a warning about the information shared on social media. Twitter users were left confused as to whether the whole story was fictionalized to make a point about social media, or whether the events really did happen. To this day, no one knows for sure. If you want more scary videos each and every week, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop about all our latest creepy content. In March of 2019, an Australian writer named Tom Taylor decided to take a break from the everyday stresses of life and get some writing done in a remote cabin. After arriving at the cabin, however, he began to have serious misgivings about spending the next four days hunkered down in a cabin that looked like it was straight out of a horror movie. Over a series of chilling tweets, Taylor illustrated that the cabin was living up to its terrifying appearance. On the first night, Taylor noticed something really unnerving. The wind chimes on the porch started jingling when the air was completely still. Even worse, they would make no noise at all when the wind was blowing a gale. When he went outside to investigate, he saw mysterious flashes, as if some unseen visitor was taking photographs of the cabin in the dark of night. As he looked around, he saw a figure standing in the shadows wearing a light on his head. He quickly ran into the cabin to escape. 
Taylor was tweeting these eerie events in real time, much to the thrill of his followers, who spammed replies in the hundreds in a hope to get more information. Throughout the night, he heard terrifying sounds that had him counting down the hours till dawn. Scariest of all, a person arrived on the front porch, knocked several times and dropped off a package. Much to the dismay of his Twitter followers, Taylor decided initially not to open the mysterious package. Instead, he explored the cabin some more and found a room containing a tiny chair in front of a TV. After several more days of disturbing sounds and visions, Taylor finally opened the package on the final day of his stay. Inside, he found a teddy bear. Terrified by the bear, Taylor decided to toss the toy into the ocean. He alleges that by the time he returned to the cabin, the tiny bear was inexplicably sitting on the floor. Mystified and scared numb, Taylor decided to place the bear on the chair in front of the TV and left the cabin for good. To this day, Twitter users who experienced the events unfold firsthand desperately want to believe that it all really did happen, but no one knows for sure. Some users point to the fact that Taylor is a writer as evidence that it was all made up. Until further information comes to hand, this unsettling story and whether it really did happen or not remains a mystery. If you want more social media horror stories, then check out that video on the top there. Otherwise, there's a scary playlist there you can binge on for hours. Leave us a comment down below or hit that thumbs up button. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 